What is going on, comic book fans? Welcome back to Bruce and Stephanie Comics. My name is Bruce, and do you guys order your comic books online? Have you wondered to yourself, which is the best big online retailer where I get the biggest discounts, I have the best experience online, and I get the best quality of books shipped to my house? Well, if you guys have thought that exact same thing, you're gonna find out in today's video because I am pitting the four biggest online retailers against each other and I'm going to figure out which one you guys should be using for all your online comic book needs. Now there are some specific things that we're going to take a look at let's go over those right now. In today's review there are three things that I'm taking a look at when I'm looking at each comic book shop and the first thing is their ease of use of their website. How easy was it for me to find the books that I wanted? How easy was it for me to find out how big their discounts are? How easy was it for me to find anything like shipping costs, FAQs, anything that I needed to know, how easy was it for me to find those specific things. The next thing I'm gonna take a look at is the shipping. This will include shipping costs, how long it took each package to arrive, the quality of the packaging, and lastly, the quality of the books once I have opened up each package. All right, guys, those are the three things that we're considering for the reviews. Let's go ahead and find out what the big four online retailers we're taking a look at today. All right, guys, so the four big shops that we're taking a look at today are MyComicShop.com, Midtown Comics, Things From Another World, and lastly, Gmart. Now, I do have a few quick notes before diving into the reviews for these online retailers, and the first thing is that these are the four biggest shops that I know of. If there is a bigger shop that you guys know of, guys, leave a comment down below, and I'll make sure that I take a look at that shop, and maybe I'll do a follow-up video after I get a chance to look at those shops. And the next thing is that I spent roughly about 30 minutes on each of these websites. I didn't take a huge deep dive, I just don't have the time to spend multiple hours on each of these websites. But you know, I spend that 30 minutes look, taking a look around, figuring out what each shop offers, and also buying about three to five books from each shop. Now, all of these reviews are gonna be focused on comic books and comic books alone. A lot of these other shops offer a lot of things other than just comic books, but this review, since this is a comic book channel, focuses just on the comic books themselves. All right, guys, those are all my quick notes. Let's go ahead and dive into the first review. We're gonna go smallest to biggest, and the smallest shop that I took a look at was Gmart. All right, Gmart, let's see what you have to offer. All right, guys, the first website that we're taking a look at today is Gmart. Now, Gmart is the smallest of the four shops that we're taking a look at today, but they are a pretty big retailer, and they offer a lot of things that the other online retailers are as well. So, when you first log on to this website, I do gotta say my first impressions were not that high. This site looks like it was built back in 1990, but that doesn't mean it doesn't offer everything that you need as a person looking to buy new comics, but it just gave me a bad taste right off the bat but that does not say it's not a good site. So let's go ahead and take a little bit of a deeper dive. In the 30 minutes, I was able to find out they do pre-orders at a 35% discount, they do subscriptions, they do all kinds of various discounts on all kinds of books. I found some one in 25s for 60% off, which is a pretty sweet deal. They have a pretty cool section called the key issue sections where they pull out keys. These are minor keys and major keys from all the new books and also some older ones, which is great if you're looking for keys. They also have a whole clearance section, which is like, you know, it's awesome for people who are looking for a good deal. As long as you don't mind scrolling for a while, you can find some pretty good deals. The discounts range from 5% to 50% off those issues. And last but not least, the thing that I found which was pretty interesting is that if you receive damaged books, they will either refund you or they will send you a new book to replace the damaged books that arrived, which is a pretty good deal. Now, after I found all that information, I spent the rest of my time on the site trying to find some new current issues that I wanted to buy for this review. And they have a section clearly labeled current issue, so there, but once I clicked on there, the one thing that stuck out to me, they actually don't have thumbnails for any of the issues. You have to use these little arrow drop downs, and even when you do that, you only get these tiny little images, and then you have to click on that to get a bigger image. It's like three steps to get a bigger image of the comic that you're looking for. And when you're a cover lover, buyer like myself, I want to see the cover first. I don't want to have to do three things to get to a cover. That is just too many steps in my opinion. 
And the next thing that I noticed is that when you are scrolling through current issues, they have these little color codes on the side and that's pretty confusing for new users. Now there is a key at the top of the site that explains what each one is, but if you didn't see that at the beginning, I can see this being a very confusing thing for new users. Now the next thing that I noticed that most of the ratio books, like you know the 1 in 25s, 1 in 50s were at a discount, which is always nice to see when you like to buy ratio covers like myself. Now one weird thing that I did notice with this website is that when a book is low in stock, they jack the price up. Why does this website think it's a good thing to upcharge you when they're low in stock, which I think they should you know, sell out of the book at cover price. Don't upcharge someone just because you are low in stock. Now, once I found the three books that I was gonna purchase from this website, I was going through the checkout process and I did see that they charge you 35 cents per bag and board. They do not give you a bag and board for free. That is just an additional charge for you if you want your book shipped with a bag and board. And who doesn't want their books shipped with a bag and board? Now, the last thing that I noticed about this website that I wanna share with you guys is they do not share the quality of the books with you as you are going through their books. You just knew that they were either new or they weren't new. So that you really didn't know if you were getting a near mint book, a very fine book, a beat up book, there was just no way of telling what the quality of books that you were gonna get. So I ordered all brand new books, so fingers crossed that these books are all near mint. So that is my review of their website. Let's go ahead and take a look at the shipping. All right guys, the shipping cost for the three books that I ordered from Gmart actually wasn't that bad. It was only $6.50, which is your general cost for shipping books, I believe. I found a little cheaper and a little more expensive, but this is the general cost for shipping three to five books to your house, and this is the package that it arrived in. It's, a, it's not a Gemini mailer, but it's like a nice sturdy box. The box came in pretty good condition. It looks like it's well packed. So let's go ahead and crack this sucker open and see what the quality of the books are once we get the box open. All right, guys, as you can see, here is the box. We're gonna go ahead and open this sucker up. Pretty good packaging, I think I said it myself. No pull tabs, as you guys will see, which is a little bit of a disappointment, so I gotta use this razor blade to hopefully not cut the books. And here is our little packing slip. And here we go. First book up is the Batman 119. What do they take this together as well? Aha, they're in another bag. That's what it is. All right, so I got Batman issue number 119, the one of 25 by Dan Hip, and I paid only $5.99 for that. So that's a one in 25 for $5.99, which is pretty decent. And then I got the Batman number 120, Dan Hip. I actually have one of these, but I was able to get this for only eight bucks and I couldn't pass it up because I'm a huge Dan Hip fan. And last but not least, I have the Batman issue number one, or the, sorry, I got the Joker, Man Who Stopped Laughing, issue number two, the one in 25 done by Francisco Matina, which I, this was in my cover lover section. And I gotta say, this looks pretty good, and I paid $20 for this. So if we can go ahead and take a look. Corners look okay. I don't see any spine ticks on here. Oh, we're losing focus. I don't see any color rub. Corners look pretty decent. So overall, I would say the packaging was good. The quality of the books is good. <clears throat> All right guys, so overall the shipping went really well. It was a low cost, the packaging was really well, and the quality of the books that I received was amazing. But the one thing that I do wanna say is that this took the longest from ordering the books to get to me than any of the other shops. I ordered this back on November 2nd and I did not receive the books until November 12th. So it was a total of 10 days from ordering the books to receiving of the books. So let's go ahead and move into the next shop, which is going to be Things from another world and let's see what they have to offer. All right, guys, we're diving into Things from Another World, the third largest comic book online retailer in the nation. And they are not ashamed to say that because they say that right on their website. But guys, this is a very refined website compared to Gmart. They have a nice look when you first log on to the website. But besides that, let's go ahead and take a look at what they have to offer after I spent 30 minutes on the website. And the first thing that they have to offer that Gmart does not is exclusive covers. So if you like some covers that only Things from Another World offer, they have that 
on this website. And they also offer pre-orders as well as final order cutoff. And they are the only site that offers final order cutoff that I'm taking a look at today. So that's pretty interesting. And the other interesting thing is that they offer a 30% discount, not a 35 for pre-orders. And they also offer a 30% discount for their final order cutoffs, which is pretty interesting when you consider a lot of shops do not offer that steep discount for the final order cutoff books. Usually it's only 20 or 15% for final order cutoff books. So those are the main things that they offer on this website that I was able to find. So let's go ahead and take a look at my general feelings on this website after spending 30 minutes on it. All right, guys, I know at the beginning of this review, I said when you first log on to this website, it has a very nice and refined look and it was gonna be easy to use. Well, I take that back. After spending 30 minutes on this website, I was actually pretty confused of how this whole system works. So I pre-order my books and there's a very easy way to find the pre-order section on mycomicshop.com. But when you're on Thanks for Another World, they mix their pre-orders books with their final order cutoff. So I couldn't find their final order cutoff books, which which had very specific dates. You need to get your final order cutoff orders in by specific times to get that 30% discount, but I couldn't. you couldn't just sort that out. There wasn't a final order cutoff button. There was just pre-orders, which is very confusing for everyone, me, other people, new people. I'm sure people who have used this site for a very long time might have a way to sort that out, but I could not figure it out. So that was very confusing in my opinion. Now, as I was searching for the books that I was going to purchase for this review, I was going through the new section. Now, the new section is labeled for the, by their latest releases, and you can continue scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, and you go back and back, and you can go back in multiple months, which was pretty cool, and they do have some pretty good discounts. Books were normally 10 to 20% off cover price, which again is an awesome discount, especially on brand new books. But I also did notice that a lot of books are overpriced. Like the unlockable variant for Wind, Thorn of the Sky, all of the unlockable variants, which if you go on eBay, or if you go on other sites, are normally between five and $20. Well, Things for Another World, we're asking $200 for these unlockable variants, which is a crazy price difference from what from five to 200. Now again, some other sites are asking a little bit more, like, you know, 20, maybe $25, but 200, come on, thanks for another world. That is a huge, huge price difference. Now again, I love to buy ratio books at a discount because I love the covers that they offer because they are more rare and they usually are really cool compared to the cover A or cover B. And as I was going through the ratio books that were offered on Things of Another World, I did notice that they were discounted, but they were discounted only a very small percentage, especially compared to other websites, mainly the one that I use the most, mycomicshot.com. They had Vanish issue number two, the one in 75 for $67 and 49 cents, which is like, you know, a five or 10% discount. But when I went over to mycomicshot.com, they had that same comic for only $18. So that is again, a huge price difference when compared to another big online retailer like mycomicshop.com. Now, not everything for this website is bad. One of the main things that I did really enjoy about this website is that they use very large images for all of their comics. So it was very easy for me to find the books that I was looking for or just scroll through variant covers and try to find really cool covers that I wanted to add to my collection. And this was a great website for that because again, all of the images are very large. All right, guys, so overall, my experience on Things from Another World on their website was pretty piss poor. I didn't really enjoy my experience. It was a very confusing website for me to use. Now, this is my personal experience on their website. I'm sure people who use that website all the time are gonna say something completely different, but I personally did not enjoy my 30 minutes on that website. It was pretty difficult for me to find the three to five books that I wanted to purchase for them, but I did find three, I did order them. So let's go ahead and hop over to the shipping section and see how they did with my shipment. All right, guys, we have the package here from Things From Another World. So this is what they shipped it in, which does not give me confidence right off the bat. This is like kind of like a mailer of some kind, but it's not, you know, your nice cardboard mailer with square corners, which is some depth to it. No, this one can be easily bent. As you can see right there, it was pretty banged up right there. So I don't really have a lot of confidence with this package, but let's go ahead and open this up and see what it looks like inside. So I got my handy dandy knife, I'm cutting the tape, and I'm ripping it open. And let's see what we got. So we got bags and boards, which is always nice. We got 
a virgin copy of Twig, which I spent a total of, uh, <clears throat> which I spent a total of $5.99 on, which is a pretty good, and it's in pretty good condition. But if you guys will see, the corner right there is pretty beat up and bent because it was in this weird packaging, but overall not bad. I got a book not in a bag and board, which is not great, and this is Spawn, uh, issue number 330, and the corner is bent, which I don't know if you guys can see that, and I can't see it in the camera right now, but this corner right here has got a huge bend in it, and it is a little color breaking back there. So, not great on that. And I got a foil of Damn Them All, issue number one, which, you know, is a pretty cool cover. Um, and again, luckily the book didn't take any damage, but again, this corner right there is all beat up, if you can see through the bag. So, overall, and also down here, it's bent right there. So, I'm going to say their packaging needs some dire help. Um... And I spent $4.99 on shipping, which is an amazing price. All right, guys, so overall, the shipping for Thanks for Another World was not great. The packaging kind of sucked, the books were kind of beat up, and overall, I did not enjoy it, but the price was pretty decent. It was only $4.99, so the shipping was relatively cheap, especially compared to $6.50 or $6.49, which it was for Gmart. But guys, my books arrived beat up a little bit, and I am not a fan of that at all, because I want every single book that I order to be in your mint. And another thing is that my spawn book did not come in a bag and board, and there was no option for me to add a bag and board so what is up with that why do some books come in a bag and board and why do some not come in a bag and board so thanks for another world you guys gotta get your shipping sorted you should not be shipping in a flat kind of mailer that is just a no-no when you're shipping comics all right, guys, we're moving over to MidtownComics.com. I believe they are the second biggest online retailer in the nation. I could be wrong. Maybe they're the biggest, but from what I know, they are the second biggest retailer. And guys, their website is just a pleasure to be on. It's easy to use. I spent 30 minutes on this website, and I just found everything that I wanted to know. But the first thing that we're going to go over, just like my review for Things of Another World in Gmart, we're going to go over what they offer on their website. All right, guys, just like Gmart and Things of Another World, they do pre-orders as well. Now, our on their website they say up to 50% off but they have a little box that you can check when you go to the preview section for anything that's on 50% off and when I clicked it for this month the month of November guys there was nothing that was available for 50% but Everything else was at 35% off, which is pretty much what you're gonna find at almost any online retailer that does pre-order. So that is pretty good. The next thing, subscriptions. Just like the other websites, they offer subscriptions as well. And the next thing that they offer, which is key in my opinion, is free bags and boards. You don't have to pay for them. They are just free and they are expected and that is just awesome. And the next thing is free shipping after you spend $89. So you do have to spend a bit of money to get to that free shipping, but that is available if you do order that much from mycomicshot.com. And the next thing is that they buy comics. So if you're looking to offload some books, you can show Midtown Comics what you have and they might or might not buy those books from you. They also have wish lists available. So if there's a book that you want to have, but they don't offer it, you can put it on your wish list. And if they get that book in stock, guys, they will let you know. And they also have a lot of decent discounts. And I would highly suggest signing up for their email blast because they give you an email at least once Day, sometimes multiple times a day, which can be pretty annoying, but you will find out about all the discounts going on on mycomicshop.com, and they have discounts up to 60%. And the last thing that I found that they offered that the other shops I did not see that they offered were signed comic books, which some people are really into getting signed comic books, and Midtown Comics offers just that. And sometimes they do big sales on their signed comic books, which is normally when I like to sneak in there and get those signed books, because sometimes they are overpriced in my opinion, and sometimes they are cover price, and if you can get under cover price that's even better but they offer signed comic books which is a pretty sweet deal in my opinion now like i said at the beginning of this review is that midtown comics website is fantastic it's easy to use it's easy to navigate it's easy to find everything that you guys need to find on the website the clearance button there's a big one right there you want ratios and variants it's right there it's so easy to find everything that you want to find there's no really complaints that i could find about this website i've used it many times to order books so this is a very positive review because they offer almost anything that you could want from their website. So let's go ahead and dive into the shipping portion of this review. 
All right, guys, we are here with Midtown Comics. So this is the package that they arrived in. It's a nice fat mailer, which is always great. It's taped at all sides. I'm trying to keep this in camera. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward of me cutting this open because it's probably gonna take a while because they tape everything too, too much. All right, guys, so they put all of their books in a nice brown paper bag, which is the one thing that I miss from going to your local LCS. And I ordered four books from uh, Midtown Comics. I got cover A of Wildcats in a bag and board. Nothing is beat up and it's fantastic. So that is great. And I also love that it comes with the uh, self-sealing bag. I got two copies of Wonder Woman issue number 793, the 90s version, which is done by Jim Bartel, which is an amazing cover in my opinion. And then I got the variant cover for Batman Incorporated issue number two, which is the design variant, which has the new character of Fissure on it. Now, I spent a total of, they don't even say it on this. So let's uh, move to the other camera angle and find out what I spent on shipping. All right guys, after logging on to midtowncomics.com, I found out that I spent $5.99 on shipping, which is right between Things of Another World and Gmart. So I would say that is a normal price that you're gonna pay for shipping. Now, the quality of the packaging was fantastic. The quality of the books that I received was fantastic. I also loved that they got free bags and boards, the self-sealing. So everything that with the shipping was great in my opinion. The price, the quality of the books, and the packaging itself, all a home run with midtowncomics.com. All right, guys, last but not least, we're taking a look at mycomicshop.com. This is the website that I use for my pre-orders and almost everything else that I do online with comic books. So this is obviously the site that I prefer, but guys, let's go ahead and take a look at what they have to offer. All right, guys, just like the three other sites, they offer pre-orders at a 35% discount, which is just like the other websites. So that is just fantastic. And next up, they offer subscriptions. So if you're into that, you want to subscribe to the book so that way you guys do not miss them month after month, you guys can go ahead and do that. But one of the things they do to offer is final order cutoff. They only do pre-orders. And after that, they will even help you sell your books through consignment, and they have a page dedicated to teaching you how to do just that. And after that, they also have a want list just like Midtown Comics. So if there is a book that you really want, you can go ahead and add that to your want list. They also have a huge, I am talking gigantic, back issue section. And this covers all eras of comic books. Golden Age, Silver Age, modern books, anything that you can want, mycomicshop.com has it. And they also have a huge discount section. So if you're looking for a discount and you're willing to scroll through books, well, they have a section just for you. And last but not least, they have auctions. So if you guys are looking for a particular book, they have auctions where maybe you can get it for cheap or maybe you're going to pay a premium because this book is so popular. But if you like to bid on books, guys, they have that as well for you. So those are the things that they have to offer. So let's go ahead and dive into my general view for mycomicshop.com. All right, guys, so my general review for mycomicshop.com is that it is a great website for ordering your books online. And the best thing about this website that I have found is that it is so easy to use. There's a giant header at the top that has every category that I could want when I'm looking for books. They have it so easily labeled and it's so great. But the one thing that they have that the other three websites do not, which I think is so important when you're buying comic books, is that they have a grade for every single comic book that they're selling. So if you want a near mint copy they will let you know if they have a near mint copy and how much they're asking for it and they also have the very fine the fine every single quality of book is labeled as it is and they have a price label for that quality of book which i personally think is so important because i want my comics to all be near mint and if i'm not getting near mint i want to know if it's not and they tell you which i think is such an important thing for comic books because we're collectors and we want the best version of it but other than that i have nothing bad to say about the website i've been using them for over a year and they're fantastic fantastic website to buy from so let's go ahead and dive in to the shipping for mycomicshop.com all right guys we're finally taking a look at mycomicshop.com they're shipping so let's go ahead and cut this package open hopefully this is not a long process like some of the other ones were but Let's find out. If it is, I will fast forward this and you'll just hear mouse noise. We got decent packaging. We got my invoice, which we'll take a look at in a second. They actually tape the books to another piece of cardboard, which is a nice little touch in my opinion. 
and then they put it in a separate plastic bag, which is also great, which is also what Gmart did, which I didn't know at the time. But obviously I have ordered from mycomicshop.com in the past. So let's go ahead and see what I ordered. This is a one in 25 for Batman issue number 129, which I paid $9.99, which is a great discount. Now this is uh, Wildcats, the one in 25, which is a very fine book, which I only paid $7.99, but I'll take a look at if there's anything wrong with it. But from the for, for briefly looking at it, this looks fantastic as well. I was missing this. This is Chicken Devil issue number one, so I got that. And last but not least, I got Dark Ride issue number two. And again, this is a near mint copy, which I paid cover price for. So just like I expected, everything from mycomicshot.com came out perfectly, just as I expected. Um, no damages to any of the books. So let's go ahead and find out what I paid for shipping. All right guys, so the shipping was $7.40 for these four books. So this is the most amount of money that I spent on shipping with this being the most, and then Gmart, and then Midtown Comics, and lastly, uh, Things for Another World was the cheapest, but I will say that I, I am fine paying a little bit more, especially knowing that I'm gonna get quality books, and especially quality books at such a great discount. It is such a great thing for me to know that my books are gonna arrive safely and on time. And these books only took six days from ordering to arrive at my house. <laughs> All right, guys, we have made it to the end of the video. It is time for me to tell you which shop that I think you guys should use for your online ordering moving forward. And I think if you guys have paid attention to this review at all, you know I'm gonna say mycomicshop.com. You can get the best discounts there, the most quality books, and you know what you're buying. I think that's the biggest thing that this shop offers that the other shops do not, is they let you know the quality of the book that you're going to order. I also think they have the biggest selection of books. I'm talking about new books, back issue books. I'm talking about going all the way back to golden age. You can find anything that you want column book related on this website. And if they don't have it, put it on your wish list. That lets them know that you are looking for that book. And then when they have it, guys, they will let you know. But the knowledge that you get from them, knowing the quality of book that you're getting is amazing. Now also, I find out that when they say very fine, which is almost near mint, a lot of the time book, the book arrives and it's near mint. And you get that book at that very fine discounted price. So in my opinion, in Bruce Moreau's opinion, the best shop for you guys to use for online ordering is mycomicshop.com. Even if you do have to pay a little bit of a premium at $7.40 for domestic shipping, it is worth it in my opinion. Now you could obviously pay a lot more if you want those books right away, but if you're just looking for regular shipping, it's worth it because you know what? They just have the best quality books. And also, if you guys do pre-orders, you only pay $5 per shipping. I pay $5 per week to get my book shipped to me. So it's a total of 20. Yes, I am spending 20 bucks a month, but I'm only spending $5 a week and I am totally okay with that. All right, guys. That is my online review for these four shops. Guys, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. Is there another shop that you order from? Because whatever reason, guys, let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys are not subscribed, get yourself subscribed. Hit that bell for notifications and smash that like button. And if you guys have watched this long, because I'm sure this video is much longer than all my other videos, guys, you guys are legends. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end. And if you guys would like to see more content like this, guys, again, let me know down in in the comments below. All right guys, have yourself a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.